told you the city was dangerous, friend. I kind of like it. It's growing on me. <laughs> nice to see your happy tourist smiling. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? I came back. I can see that. But why? To save you. Oh, yeah, real hero. Listen. Just now, come with me, Max. To Brazil. Be a chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get him to loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. I hope this thing works. Everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her, and I didn't. Was she married into a sick family? Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. Well, I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Well, buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York. Uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Yeah, I got business to take care of. Uh, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I, I know... Uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be. Figure I... Might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming, you know? you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I... I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. <laughs> maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've, uh, looked through this information you gathered. It's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Kevin Parelli. Ah! Hey, olha aqui. Tô 
tropa, tropa. Ei, moço, mano, o que é esse cara aí? Não é da tua conta, rapaz. Vai, vai. Nossa, fudeu! Meu conta não tem essa barra de cu, pô. Ela não diz tudo dela, meu. Ei, o que é essa cara aí? Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, me dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, o pai dela não diz tudo. Patrão, filha da puta! Atrás de inocência! Por que é que você vai ver mais acontecer contigo? Toma uma aqui! É aqui que você vai me acontecer, cara! Tá pensando o quê? Hã? Onde é que você vem? Fica aí, cara! Eu! Me fudeu, filha da puta! Ai, eu vi aí, otário! Deixa eu sair daqui, velho! Ô, ô, ô! Segura a porta aí! Parada lá, hein? Demorou. Valeu, amigo. Hey! What are you doing here? Huh? I ask you a question. Answer him! What are you doing? What? What are you doing here? 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 I, I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you what doing, you're here? doing you here? Hit me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? <laughs> Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell was going on. I knew nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was gonna have to face the music sooner or later. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. Luckily for me, for once, the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working.
Last few prisoners were trapped in here, and more presently, seemed I was too. Security switch had to be in that booth. But the only friend I had left in that town. <laughs> <laughs> 